Okay, here we are. We're going to do the unboxing of my guitar skin. Using a knife, a cheese knife. I'm not going to dig too deep in there. I don't want to hurt it. Okay. This thing is sliding. It's like top heavy or something. I thought they were going to put it in something else. Set one of those roll things. Let's see if I could just slide her down. It's not letting me double taped it over here. So I gotta fair attention. Okay, on this side, there we go, should be rid of the Opino Ouvre, come on, it's too thick, they taped it too thick. Look at that. Ah, that's a dangerous tape job. Okay, here we are. Put this knife down. Okay. Okay, there's the roll. Ah, those are punks. So here's the guitar skin. Here we go. My guitar skin is coming in the mail. There's what it looks like. Well, on a baby guitar. Haha, ha, that's just the label for it. But there it is down inside the tube. I want to open it up here. Let me tap it down. In the Aha. Uh -huh. I'll keep this box in this tube. It looks like it's pretty big. It's gonna cover a lot of space here. Wow. So there's something there. I don't know really what that is. I'm not quite sure. Just striping or something. Additional stuff. But look at this. It, the quality is very high on this. There's the paper. There's probably information down there about it. But boy, this thing is thick. It's like linoleum thick almost. So and it's not shaped in any way. So I have to do all the the cutting and everything but it looks great look at that that's what's gonna I'm gonna end up working on putting on my on my guitar it's beautiful it really is so uh, it'll take a little bit of uh, work I've never done anything like this but it'll get done okay well here's the finished project with the lightning guitar skin. That was kind of meticulous. You can kind of see some of the seams where I had to seam some of that together, especially up and around this area where the knobs and the switches. And I didn't put any in the middle between the pickups. I, I wanted to, but I thought, eh, it's okay the way it is for now. I still have that piece if I want to match it back in and layer it down. But uh, here I see uh, this is my dream to have to uh, take the skin and put it around my logos. Petra Striper, two favorite Christian bands, rock and metal bands. And then you got my ministry logo here. So the lightning effect, it kind of gives it an idea that the logos are popping through the lightning or the lightning is enhancing the logos somehow you see the seams in some of those areas where I had to really play with the decal the lightning decal but it gives a much better look than just a black guitar Ibanez I'm not gonna do anything with the headstock up here if I come up with something creative I might do throw a lightning edging on it but I don't think so but uh, now it ha has more of a flavor of its own so that's that now I'll take another picture of it I'm going to send this video out 
So uh, these are $28 off of Amazon. And then uh, here, this company, it's called uh, Design Divil Custom Guitar Skins. And they actually say you can email them at Gmail. Custom Guitar Skin, you can actually upload your own, like I did here with a company, and they uh, printed me out a logo. I could have done the whole guitar this way, which I don't think would have looked right, so I just left it at this size. But this company will do any kind of logo you want. This is the company that got it from. It's pretty cool. Uh, kind regards to the Design Devil team. If you purchase one of our skin wraps from our huge range, we're also including a free set of customized or custom racing stripes guitar decals to th say thank you for your order. That, they came in the package that they didn't make sense to me. They didn't have a color that I think would go with this anyway, so I didn't. But if you like what you see on my guitar from this these, this company, it's called Design Devil. And they say uh, send an email to Design Devil with a subject custom guitar skin. Attach your high quality art imagery <coughs> file. That could be JPEG, PDF, all those files there. Send us kind of some information, for example, sizes needed to print and what country you live in uh, for postage reasons. And then they also said, make sure, measure your guitar widest and longest points. Add an extra 1.5 inches for bleed. I don't know what that means. A little bit, I do. Some of that is for uh, sizing. But I had no problem. That I, I think I took a picture of this skin. It was a big square, probably... 16 by 20 at the biggest but look at that it's it's a vinyl it's literally vinyl and it's kind of like what you put on a car or anything but what, from a distance i'll take a picture from a distance so you can get a better look at it oh but it's beautiful isn't it isn't that gorgeous just another bit of artwork i even thought about throwing kente on here at one time but nah i think that would be too distracting for a guitar color tone wise and stuff like that but okay Let's uh, go ahead and take a picture of this and then a picture of me with it. Okay. Okay, there it is.